Here we have the Canon model HFG10 high definition camcorder. It's really a great little unit. The only problem is it cannot record progressive video. It does have a 25p progressive mode. However, videos recorded in that mode are being stored in exactly the same 50i codec as the video from all the other modes. However, there is a way to fix that and to get back your 25p video from that 50i video file. Let's take a look at how it's being done. The thing you have to understand is a 50i video contains 50 half frames interlaced. That's where the i comes from. And it contains 50 of those half frames every second. The 25p video contains only 25 images per second. However, those are full frames, which are much, much nicer to work with on computer-based systems and that look much, much better when being uploaded to the Internet. Because you don't have to do any kind of uh, de-interlacing or anything like that. What I have done, and what is right here on the screen in front of us, is a test video. I rendered this as a progressive video, and I did not do any kind of de-interlacing. And this proves that we can actually get our 25p video back from the 50i codec. Now, first of all, this part contains a 50i video that was also recorded in the 50i mode of the Canon HFG10. This is showing a movement, and uh, as you can see on the edges, we get the typical little lines that uh, are being caused by the two half frames not showing exactly the same. Of course, whenever you're recording 25p into a 50i codec, the camcorder has no other choice than putting two identical half frames after each other, because there is no more information than that. So, it's recording two identical half frames. So, if you don't do any sort of de-interlacing, that is a way to get back your 25p video. This is a different section of the video that we've just watched, and this shows a clip that was recorded with a 50i codec. However, the Canon camcorder was in the 25p mode. As we zoom up to this, you can see on the edges, we do get something that's called motion blur, but there are no more of those horrible artifacts coming from the missing de-interlacing. That's a quite a good result right there. So how do we do that? Well, the problem is it does take some pretty advanced software to be able to take any influence on whether or not there is uh, de-interlacing being done or not. On my Adobe Premiere Elements version 12, I don't have that option. It does look at the input video file and based on that, it decides whether or not it's going to do de-interlacing. And if it decides that it is an interlaced video clip, it is going to do de-interlacing no matter what you do. So what I had to do is I had to get myself Sony Vegas Pro. This is the version 12. So in this, we can control whether or not any de-interlacing is being done or not. What I have right there, imported into the editor, is this. This is a file coming from the Canon camcorder. I did rename it, by the way. And uh, this is, of course, the 50i codec, but it does contain the 25p video. So what we do is we right-click. We get, uh, well, we get a German menu, because... <laughs> <laughs> I'm from Germany, so that's what uh, I'm using language-wise. But anyway, we go all the way down to Properties, and then we get this pop-up menu right here. And what we have in this window are quite a few informations. For example, the frame rate. 
That is not interesting. What we're interested in is this. Right there. Unfortunately, I'm unable to translate that to English. But it should say upper field first. You click that. As you can see, you get a choice. This right here is lower field first. That does, uh, doesn't mean anything in this case. What we're interested in is this. None. Progressive scan. We just sent this uh, video clip to be a progressive video clip. That way, the Sony Vegas is going to think it's a progressive video clip and it's not going to do any sort of de-interlacing at all. However, since we do of course have the two identical half frames, we are getting the nice and uh, sharp video that uh, you've all seen in the uh, video file that I've just shown right there. Of course, if you've been using the uh, 50i mode on the camcorder, you get those horrible lines. So anyway, I hope that was uh, useful to somebody. That is actually quite an easy way on how to get progressive video, real progressive video, out of a Canon HFG-10. Thank you for watching and see you again soon.